is Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. We talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So remember to subscribe to this channel if this is of any interest to you. Now, a little birdie has told me that you recently launched your website and you were so excited to tell the world about it. So you went on Facebook, wrote your little story, and you started sharing it um, on your page, on Facebook groups, because that's where you want to be heard, right? But you go and link your website onto your post and you realize that it's this weird profile photo or no photo at all when you are when it's showing the preview of your website and you're like what the heck why is it not showing a beautiful photo and how do i change that photo well it is a little bit hidden on the squarespace side so i'm gonna be showing you in this video how you change your Facebook preview photo on Squarespace. Um, you can change it for every single page on your website, including blog pages. You can have a different photo for every single preview image. So I'm gonna head into Squarespace now and show you where exactly you need to go to swap out that photo. All right, let's get into my laptop and I'll show you how to change that photo. All right, welcome to my laptop. So this is my website and let's just pretend it's yours and you just completed your website design on Squarespace and you are ready to now share it and launch it to the world to Facebook. Um, first things first, you're going to go onto Facebook and create a post wherever it might be. I'm just going to use my uh, page here. You type in your website link and you get hit up by something like this. Um, and this is because uh, Facebook is actually pulling from your Squarespace uh, logo in order to populate uh, this preview image. And this clearly does not look good. So we are going to be changing this um, on the Squarespace side. So first things first is you need to actually create um, your image. So the proper image size for Facebook previews is um, you have to create a custom size is 1200 meters uh meters 1200 width and 628 height pixels so oops okay so i'm going to create that design and I actually personally don't recommend putting your logo there. Um, I personally think if you are launching some sort of service-based business, then it's actually better to put a photo of yourself here because um, most likely if you are sharing your business, um, then it's going to be your business name is going to be all over the post. So people will already know like what your business name is. So I actually recommend uploading like a photo, like a business brand photo shoot uh, of your of yourself instead. So I'm actually going to use this photo here that I took for my brand photo shoot that I took recently. And if you want to check out that brand photo shoot, I actually posted a video recently about um, that photo shoot and how I take brand photo shoots in general. So I'm just going to expand this until I think it looks good. Move that down a little bit. Perfect. So uh, I think that looks good actually. Mm, yeah. If you want, you can put your uh, logo here or something that might look good as well. Then it's a photo, an engaging photo of you as well as with your logo. So I am going to download that um, as a JPEG. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna download it to my desktop, Cheryl's profile. Okay, perfect. So we are back at my um, website now and we are going to go into design and logo and title. And if you scroll down, you will see this logo that you already probably 
put in there and then your favicon which also is a very important thing to remember to update here that is that little logo up here but the last thing that you'll see here is social sharing logo and that is what um, Facebook will be pulling out of to get that preview image so I am going to select my photo and it's going to populate it here as you can see this is the perfect dimensions for that thumbnail and then I'm going to click on save now what this does is this is going to be the default photo no matter what page you share from your website so if it's madeonsundays.com slash services it will also share this image um, but let's just say you wanted to share a different image for let's say your services page uh, or whatever other page that you have. You can actually go into back to your navigation, go to pages and then go to the page that you want to have a different image for. And then you see this little um, settings bar, just click on that and then click on social image. Now, right now, this is what is going to be the default social preview. If you want to have a separate image for the services page, you're going to click on this uh, and upload a separate photo. Now, I'm just going to upload the same photo because I only have that one photo right now. Actually, let's just test out. Um, here, I'll add this one in. So we have another example and you can see that it'll be different. Okay, I'm just gonna download this image. Just so you can see a preview, you know? Cheryl's profile two, perfect. All right, back to here. So I'm going to upload a different image right here so we can test it out all right so as you can now see this social image has been um, saved and for this page specifically for services um, you are going to see this alternative social image so I'm going to close that after I save it and just to double check I'm going to go to my home page and just see if it's still the default Yep, so it's still the default. So unless you upload an alternative social sharing image here, then, um, then it's gonna show the default, which is great. Okay, you can also do this with blogs. So I just wanted to show you really quickly. So if you go back to your blog. Okay, so if you go to your blog, right? And um, I'm just gonna go into my latest post. Um, in social, I believe. Yeah, so you can also upload a separate social sharing image for each blog post. So this is really important because um, you might want to have some sort of blog image like I do here, um, specifically for that blog post. So when you share it on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever, it's gonna show this image itself. Okay, perfect. So once you do that, you're actually not done yet um, because uh, it actually, Facebook needs to do another step just to make sure that they have um, kind of populated your, your new image. Um, you can wait like a day and maybe it will update itself, but if you want it to show immediately, then you have to go to this website called the Facebook uh, Sharing Debugger. I will provide the link to this website um, in the uh, description below. Um, so once you get onto this website, you want to just type in your website here and then click on debug. And as you can see right now, if you share an image um, or share your link on Facebook, it will still show this link preview image. So what you have to do is you need to scrap, scrap again and just wait for it to load and perfect. If it doesn't show the right image right away, you wanna just do that again. So just click on it again, just to make sure that it is um, reloaded. And then um, just do that until it does show the correct image. So now we can go back to Facebook and we can test it out. 
So let's post again. I'm going to actually restart this page. Okay, let's type in the link again. And now the preview image is updated. And that is how you change your Facebook preview photo, AKA social share image um, on Squarespace. So I hope that was um, really helpful for you for your launch and congratulations on your new website. Um, I am so excited. Please actually link your new website in the comments below. I would love to see some of your websites um, and see some of the businesses that you guys are launching. I am I'm here to help you guys. So um, link your website below, but also let me know, you know, if you have any video requests for anything related to branding design and creative entrepreneurship, I'd love to hear them and perhaps consider it for a next video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>